Hey, hey Joe. Hey, Michael. How are you doing? <laughs> Very good. How are you? I'm doing great. We have both have two kids in middle school. Um, and, you know, we have to deal with the stress of that. At the same time, you're also like one of the world's leading, am I saying this right, molecular biologists? Yeah, I'm an infectious <laughs> disease guy. This is stressful times, no doubt this about it. This is stressful times. Yeah, because you're also the co-president of the Chan Zuckerberg uh, Biohub. You're knee-deep in helping California managing the coronavirus outbreak. That's right. We're doing a ton of testing. We basically converted a, a large part of our research effort into clinical testing in collaboration with UCSF. And um, it's really exciting because we're returning actual results to patients that can be meaningful and change their lives. At the same time, we have a ton of scientists here at the Biohub that are working on the kind of the basic science of this virus to understand, like, where did it come from? Where is it going? And how do we fight it? What's your sense? Like, how are we doing on testing? Because you can only do so much. The, the irony is, is that... Um, the current testing load is below our capacity. And it turns out that we did not plan on one of the critical bottlenecks that was kind of, um, I didn't see coming. And that was swabs. So the nasal pharyngeal swab, the little thin swab that they put up your nose. There's only two real factories in the world that made those. One in Maine and one in Brucia, Italy. The one in Italy is you know, not able to send stuff out. And the one in Maine has, has got, like booked their production for the next year. You, you basically can't buy them. There's, they're not able to make them fast enough. It turns out that the global supply chain is super fragile. But I think that'll, that'll start to get better. But it's just what I've learned is that, that you know, we exist in a world of just-in-time manufacturing where no one carries inventory. What is your advice, both to me and to everyone else? Like, how do we make the most impact these days? At least in the Bay Area, let's touch talk about the Bay Area. You, you are making an impact by, by not being in public with lots of people close to you. That is having impact. And we're, we're by every measurable uh, quantity metric that we have right now, the Bay Area is doing really good. I mean, we're way better than a lot of other parts of the country. Just by doing your work at home in, in, in kid prison, like <laughs> you are having an impact. You are actually helping everybody else. And, and, every, and everybody else, and, and then the way that you conduct yourself has an impact. Like, Joe, let me also ask you, like, how are you balancing things, you know? Because you're like, you're like it, incredibly hard work you're doing, incredibly important work you're doing, but you also like, you're also a family father and everything. How do you balance all that? Well, you know, it's actually, because I'm not in kid prison, it's actually pretty, pretty, I think probably easier for me than it is for you because like the stressful COVID testing thing here at work, it's, it's fun, but it's very stressful. And then um, the beauty is, is that I get to go home and like change my mindset to doing algebra homework. And it's actually kind of refreshing, like, oh, wow, I don't have to think about COVID-19 for a minute. Joe, I have to admit, I'm very jealous of your situation. You know, being a warrior out there on the front lines. Joe, get back to work. Get back to work. You're needed. Um, and and see, you, um, see you very soon. All right. Best to you and your girls. Thank you. Same to you. Bye.